Hey, what up, ladies and gents? Your favorite Asian robot, hopefully your favorite dark type partner, and I welcome you to my Shredder Auto Pistol build video. I'm going to try and compress these videos down to about 10 minutes so that you guys don't get bored watching and so that we cover all the essential stuff without any of the extra nonsense. Why am I doing this? Because min-maxing is pointless and it also attracts the wrong kind of people. So um, I'm going to stick to the more casual stuff because honestly, I'm also switching to more casual play for Dark Tide. There is enough content to keep me like super min max interested. And also um, it is literally possible to do damnation with gray weapons. So yeah, you really don't need all the bells and whistles. So let me go through my Shredder Auto Pistol build right now and show you how to get things done um, with just the minimum ne uh, necessary stuff. All right. When it comes to the feats, all right, I take confirm kill because elite kills, easiest way to replenish toughness. You're not really going to be hitting a lot of heads. I mean, you can, uh, but it's not really your main purpose and at arm's length is pointless. Okay, because with this build, you tend to play up close and personal. For the second column, I go with demolition stockpile. Why? Because grenade regen is awesome. Some people like sniper. I don't. I prefer grenades. Uh, third column, you can go with either bio-optic targeting or demolition team. I take demolition team to benefit the whole team, especially if you've got augurins or um, zealots around. Unwavering focus for number four, because damage reduction and being able to tank in the field of fire is pretty awesome. Frag storm. Bleed is so useful, and this is your main counter against bulwarks, okay? And counter fire is absolutely essential because you are playing the kind of build where you will be taking out all the gunners at close at relatively close range, you'll be spamming down all the elites. So counterfire is pretty much your bread and butter for this whole build. All right, that covers it for the feats. And now we're gonna go over to the loadout. For your melee weapon, try to choose something that can help you deal with the two weaknesses of this build, which I'll go through in a little while. The two weaknesses are bulwarks and crushers. You need something that can either open up the shield or just get through thick armor. All right, and the power sword does that. Absolutely. Uh, for the bulwarks, you have to use a grenade as well to open them up. But basically, this is this is your uh, anti-armor weapon. Now, for your ranged weapon, obviously, this is a Shredder Auto Pistol build, so you should have the Shredder Auto Pistol. What you will want to have for this build is the highest possible damage and stopping power and the highest possible ammo that you can have. However, ammo, mobility, and collateral are all, uh, in my opinion, non-essential but you should try to get them as high as possible. All right, ammo, obviously, if you can, please, as high as possible. It's good, it's good for you. Mobility, having a higher one just assists your dodge distance, sprint speed, all that. Collateral is all about stagger, and it can be very useful because the main blessing here you're going to be using is pinning fire. So try to get this as high as possible as well. All right, but damage and stopping power directly affect how much damage you deal, and therefore these two must be maximized, okay? Now, for your blessings, you want to have Pinning Fire, which gives you plus 20% power for every enemy that you stagger, all right? And this is the most essential one. The other one, um, you can have anything. Honestly, Blaze Away is the most popular choice, but Calvcade doesn't do that horribly for me as well. So this is what I've got. In terms of your melee weapon, I mean, uh, blessing-wise, Power Sword, Power Cycler, standard, okay? Um, but... If you don't have this, obviously just choose whatever else, like, you know, Brutal Momentum, Axe with Head Taker. Uh, these are all the standard choices. I leave that up to you because, honestly, this build is about the Shredder Auto Pistol. Your melee weapon is a supplement to that, but please choose something that can get through armor. Yeah. Okay. I literally emphasize that twice because it's that important. Curios, I just go with Wound, Health, Health because uh, I find toughness quite pointless. And you regenerate so much of it that you basically toughness gate at 100% all the time. So that's literally what I've got. And that covers the weapon and feats. Now, let's talk about weaknesses. This thing is only weak against two things. Watch. Carapace armor. You're not going to do jack shit unless you crit. And the bulwark shield cannot be opened up by the shredder auto pistol. Okay? No matter how much you shoot, you're not going to do anything. So how do you deal with bulwarks? Grenade out. Okay. Once they're down on the ground, start swinging, start chopping, and you should be able to kill them. The bleed damage also helps a lot. Crushers, well, just do this. All right, try to get headshots, swing, swing, and get them done. Um, it also helps if you maybe throw a grenade, knock them down. All right, go in and just start swinging. The bleed damage isn't going to be much, but you can still get a fair amount of damage by aiming for the head. Okay? 
Now, the Shredder Auto Pistol's strengths, on the other hand, are the simple fact that everything is going to die, all right? Things will just get shredded, quite literally. All right? You can shred muties, you can shred pretty much everything. The only thing is that you have to be relatively close range, all right? Snipers are your weakness because if you are about 45 meters away from the sniper, life can get a bit difficult. Alright, when you are at this distance from the sniper, it can be pretty hard to strike them accurately, but with a little bit of burst fire, you can still do it. Alright, um, just remember that that is, like, this distance is probably the maximum efficiency for which you can kill a sniper, but, you know, depending on how pressurized you are, it can be difficult. So just take note that your teammates may have to assist you on that. That is literally it for the build. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be having a demonstration section where I'll be showing some clips of how I played the Shredder Auto Pistol. But if you want a more thorough demonstration, I have links to two streams where I did nothing but play the Shredder Auto Pistol. You can go check those out. You don't have to watch the whole streams. Just watch the combat segments and get a feel for what I'm doing. Um, like I said, that's about it. Like, share, and subscribe. Get this video to 100 likes if you can. I'd be very grateful if you did. And before we go into the clips and demonstrations, please allow me to thank the channel members that make all of this possible. Thank you, thank you so much for everything you've done, all my super chatters, donors, all you lovely people, but primarily the channel members. Also, special shout out to Kami SMH, okay? Uh, biggest donor this month. All right. Starting right at the top, Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra, Jerry Fast, Rogue Assassin, Omen, Screen Puff, Zach NFG at Prestige. Thank you guys so, so much. In terms of our honored robots, we have the following. Rena, The Mighty Zeno, Chase Taylor, Scuddy, Nathan Strong, Sabingu, AKJ, Lady Neo, Maze, Bob John, Joey Danze, A. Ripley, Daraverse, Cordova, Che D12, I'm Peep, Sayed Asad, Tuan Nguyen, T. King, Kota CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, Nate the Great, Cory Ryu, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys on the next video. Enjoy the combat demonstration, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, well, I'll catch you on stream anyway. Because I don't want to do something doesn't mean everyone else has to not do it. You want to do it? You roll, bro. I will cheer you on. Hmm. <laughs> All right, GG.